<laughs> Midnight Suns has this incredible feature to design your own comic books at the end of every mission and using any combination of the heroes you brought on said mission with the option to add in super villains if you happen to encounter one on that mission. On top of that, the game simply has one of the best photo mode editors and it works incredibly well on a controller. So today's video is a bit of a nerdy one, sort of a show and tell of my 150 hour playthrough, looking at all the photos I took along the way and all my amazing comic books that I designed after all of my mission. The video is intended to be a sort of trip through memory lane while showcasing how creative this fun gameplay loop can be to extend your time that you invest in this wonderful game. So I hopefully inspire some of you guys to create better comics, show you what you can do with this photo mode editor, and maybe you'll look at the uh, comic books in a different way rather than just accepting the default one given to you at the end of every mission, because I definitely think it's a good feature that uh, you should take advantage of. So let's get into it. Okay, so here we are in game. Uh, one thing before we get started, I wanted to show you guys that there is a, an additional photo mode that you get while sparring a character. So after you're done sparring, it gives you like a, a photo mode option. And during my playthrough, I did customize all these. You can move the camera, you can yaw the access, and uh, you can go into the characters, Ghost Rider, you can change the pose. Now, the only thing I didn't like about this is we can't, in this particular editor, we can't change the them on the y-axis that means we can't move them up and down so if they're not in a pose that's airborne like this and we change them to a pose where they're standing they're kind of floating right and that's not cool we can't change the hunter really um off the ground we can't move them up and down which does give you a lot of limited options but you could always play with perspective angles, right? So if I come over the shoulder here, you can't really see his feet on the ground. But with per perspective, you can also make it look like he's massive. Like his feet are on the ground and he's just gi ginormous. <laughs> so with that said, you can, you know, come in on certain angles with the camera and do funny things. So you'll see me try to get creative with this mode as often as I could. And I did that for majority of the game. Near the end, now that I'm farming missions and stuff, I just stopped. I just take the default photo and then delete the photo later. <laughs> so I just don't. Uh, and then you take your picture when you're done, confirm and exit and that goes into your photo collection and I will delete that one <laughs> we'll see that that'll be the last photo I in the collection and um, that's where we'll end off the video you also get one more option when you complete a hero up and uh, when when a hero comes back from their operation you get to make a personalized comic book for just that hero and you get all the the options that the comic book editor gives you but you can't really put any other characters in so also pretty difficult to make them look cool because they're all posed by themselves but I did make manage to find some creative ways. So we have four different styles of photos that we could take because we could also go into photo mode from here. And in, if, if there's any characters around us here, I'll actually show that. If we go stand next to Ghost Rider here, I'm Robbie Ray's, just... we can see he shows up in the list now. So we can actually pose him and we could rotate him and we can give him expressions and then we can do the same for the hunter and we can give her a pose so you can uh whenever you're doing photo mode you can do some pretty fun stuff as well right around the abbey with different characters so that's one photo mode there's the end of mission comic book designer there's the end of operation comic book Thank designer you. for a personal character and then there's the training yard simulator which gives you a photo at the end four types of photos you could take at this game at, and this one being any time you can use this one during combat you can use it whenever uh you're gonna see a combination of my four of those four different things so let's uh let's get into it under our super link we can go into our gallery and it shows all of our photos starting here i'm gonna zoom in the camera a little bit because this is the the view that they give you so let's go ahead and zoom that in and uh yeah my very first image when we created our hunter it gave us the opportunity to make a comic so that was the first 
time I ever used the photo mode editor. And I was like, yeah, this is neat. And uh, it's probably the only time I actually used the little emote thing where you can say something. She's like, get ready. Uh, the hunter rises. And it's the rise of the hunter. It's my very first. She, she was risen from her grave, um, welcomed into this universe. And that's the very, very first memory that I have in this game of character creation. That's that's my character created. And immediately they are sending me off on a mission and I'm tinkering with photo mode. I'm like, oh, you could use this at any time. So I took a random picture there and I was like, oh, you can pose just what I showed you guys there. Oh, you could pose the other characters at the sea. So I posed magic and, and made a fun little uh, picture of them in front of the portal. Uh, the first mission they sent me on uh, gave me Doctor Strange and Blade. While I was crossing over the portal realm to my mission, I said, hey, why don't I take a photo? And then while I was on the mission, I was trying to take photos of their abilities. And it's kind of hard to do because you have to hold photo mode button down for a second before you can enter it. It's not instantaneous. And that's one thing I wish they changed with this photo mode. If, if I push the button, it immediately goes into it. Because if there's something happening at that split second that I want to capture, I want to be able to capture it. But because I have to wait, I have to like kind of time it. And that's kind of unpredictable. So while you can see me taking photos in my missions, that kind of isn't the case anymore because of the reason I just explained. Um, it's hard to get that. Plus, I've had it crash on me a few times exiting out uh, because there's so many visual effects paused on screen. <laughs> and I was just like, okay, this is unreliable. So that was my first mission where I uh, encountered Venom fallen venom and i had to get a picture of hunter versus venom face to face here as my comic book so i thought that was pretty badass and this is the first time in the story where they develop you a new outfit so i put the thought bubble emoji above her head not bad not bad at all and that's a a, a look at my new outfit we're embarking on a new mission this is the first time captain marvel was introduced to the game so i had to get a picture with her first time i ever seen her use her photon beam which i thought was incredible so took a picture of that and uh, I had to just, you know, give her the spotlight for this um, because she's such a badass. So we just took a picture of her and all of this is edited. I, I don't take any default photos. So I changed the background to have that shine coming out from the back to give some extra rays. I changed the lighting to be a little more vibrant. I usually change the font at the bottom and that sort of thing. So yeah, it's it's a ton of fun. And generally what you'll see is whenever the, the comic book is like, this is the hunter, this is Captain Marvel. I usually pick the comic book centered around who other was the, the the focus of the mission or the mvp um this was a hunter mission where you get to play with the hunter's uh pet charlie um so i got a cool group photo of them and like i said these are the training yard pictures so I, I i try to modify them a little bit first time playing with ghost rider how to put him in the traditional ghost rider outfit and have the two ladies off to the side doing kind of like a symmetrical pose of sorts while ghost rider's whipping his chain around thought that was pretty cool and wanted to get a couple screenshots of his abilities so at the end of uh screen comic for this one i try to make it look like the hook is going through her chest and he's yanking her back to him uh poor captain marvel <laughs> but uh yeah he was the mvp he was the new guy on the block had to do something neat with him <laughs> blade attacking she's jumping into his arms uh, i tried to get a little bit creative and silly with some of these you'll see along the way some of them were just ridiculous uh first time i was introduced to magic so she had to be the mvp here everyone's got their swords out which is really cool blade hunter and magic the sword trio they cut deep pretty badass captain marvel um she probably came out from a hero op so she you know didn't have a lot of options there training with dr strange try to do a cool perspective there and uh dr strange probably did a hero op if, usually if they're all by themselves it's generally because it was a hero op um training with um iron man like i said you have limited space what you can do and how you can position them you can't change their height and elevation so i got the perfect angle where it made it look like they were actually at the same height based off of camera trickery and it made it kind of look like they're flying through the abbey together i love that one um so i think this is the one of my first times actually giving iron man a good test so i try to get some pictures of his uh, abilities as well as nico so because the two of them were on the mission together for their first time the comic book is centered around them nico has this fun pose where she's sitting on her her staff like a magic broom 
So I positioned her on top of Iron Man <laughs> as he's flying. And this time he brought friends. And she's just chilling out with her legs crossed flying through the sky with Iron Man. Oh, it's so good. Uh, Trinity with magic. Yep, kind of standard. Captain Marvel, probably hero op. Um, cool little... Um, group photo here all their legs are kind of like in a v shape to one little spot i don't know i thought that was kind of neat and um they're all centralized there um almost a little bit of a love letter between the two of them <laughs> this one's great <laughs> Oh, all new team, all new look. They're all just sandwiched on top of um, Iron Man there. <laughs> I love Blade's pose. He's like, <laughs> <"Gah!"> <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, but it looks hilarious. Oh, I love this one. This is freaking great. Uh, trading with um, Doctor Strange there. I tried to do another one. I, I think I was just um, overzealous with playing around with her little staff sitting pose, but they're all sitting on Captain Marvel's leg as she's flying through the sky and uh, <laughs> whatever. Just blowing a kiss to Hunter there. Uh, this one's awesome. I really like this one here. Basically, you got Nico holding off the staff of one, but I got Captain Marvel behind holding up a, a solar ball and charging that up, which casts the light through the staff of one. Then Doctor Strange is doing his little hand emote, uh, hand gesture, right in the center of the staff of one. So what ends up happening is it looks like the staff is glowing with power and Doctor Strange is empowering it, like he's going to cast a spell through it. Um, that one came together really nicely. Uh, <laughs> She's jumping over the hook and he completely whiffed. I love that one. Um, the Dark Invaders. So Doctor Strange up in front. He was the MVP here. Go with a, a little bit more of a dark theme on this one. A little battle between the two of them there. Ah, first time uh, introducing Spider-Man into the game versus Venom. So I had to get uh, the old Venom chasing Spider-Man. And uh, <laughs> Iron Man played a little bit of grab ass. <laughs> perspective his hand is like literally five feet away it's all perspective so <laughs> look on her face is great captain marvel um i had a mission encounter where the villain showed up and captain marvel just nuked him with all of her insane overpowered abilities in binary mode uh she was definitely the mvp kicked the crap out of venom so we had to do a group photo between the two of them she's about to go binary on your ass <laughs> A booty shot there for the hunter <laughs> and here we got the blade and ghost rider all the three of them in the city blade rock in his new outfit pretty cool magic versus hunter uh this one's nice nico sitting on her staff with the hunter next to her she was the mvp for that mission so gotta do something there uh, <laughs> one they both have different intentions here <laughs> but yeah new new outfit uh, one thing to pay attention as we're going through these, uh, Captain Marvel has a new outfit palette and Hunter also new outfit going with like this kind of green archer look. Um, hero op, obviously. And here we go with our new outfits. We got the whole kind of medieval theme. I got the medieval archer with the Hunter and Blade and Ghost Rider both wearing their kind of Knights of the Realm outfits. So we even went with like a Knights of the Realm type font for the zinger text at the bottom. <laughs> Two characters chill it out. Again, perspective. If you use the perspective and the camera right, these training mode battles can uh, some deliver you some good pictures. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Iron Man kneeling down, Nico sitting on his knee, and they're all wrapped up. Like, I don't even know how I managed to do this. Look at his hand. It's between her legs. Look at her leg. It's between them two. I mean, they're all just crisscrossed in this, like, twister. What's, what's that twister game you play with the bat? <laughs> it looks like they're playing that game. They're playing that twist twist game. Oh, my God. Th these heroes mean business. <laughs> It's great. Uh, <clears throat> this is the first time I got my, I forget what the ability is called now, something like Storm. Um, and I got her using Holy Storm. I can't remember what it's called. It's a cool ability. It knocks everybody back, does a bunch of damage, AoE. So I got a picture of that. And there she is. This is going to be a wild hunt. I actually like that outfit. Good makeup on there. I like the headband or mask thing that's going on there. You can do some really good up. <laughs> They're pressing their fingers together. Again, this is a perspective thing. Uh, their f hands are nowhere near each other. They're like five feet away, but 
the perspective makes it look like she's pressing his thumb against his index and it's hilarious. <laughs> so if you play around with the poses enough and the camera angles, you get some good booty shots, but this is intended to be a uh, Captain Marvel. This is high, higher, further, faster. Background is meant to be a supernova or a sun. She's, she's flying towards the sun. That was the idea of this shot. Um, Iron Man and Spider-Man combo, you know, from the Marvel or what do you call it? The Avengers series. Obviously, Tony Stark and Peter Parker have a very close relationship in the kind of Avengers series. And it's kind of the case in this game as well. So I've, I've really come to enjoy playing Spider-Man and Iron Man together. They're a really good combo. And I thought this was a good photo to represent the two best friends here. Doctor Strange, hero op. Yeah, we're rocking up the new outfit. I always love color theming my palettes. Um, this is something that probably extended my playtime to 150 hours when I go on a new mission and I got a new outfit for my hunter. I got new color palettes unlocked from my other heroes. We got to put Spider-Man in the red carnage outfit. Captain Marvel in her new fantastic red and hunter in her red. And the three of them make um, a really cool combo. And we went up against, um, what's that guy's name? Foss Faustus. And... I kind of made a uh, change the angle a little bit so it looks like he's choking her and he's punch she's punching him and slamming him into the ground. That's a pretty cool photo. Two of them punching each other. Let's go. The spirits of the Midnight Suns. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> we got uh, Ghost Rider cast in the flames. Hunter's right there with him. And Spider-Man's like, get me out of here. <laughs> uh, Nico Minoro, just a nice angle really cool like the the way the background has all those the movement the lines going in one direction i felt like changing the font of the character name to all it all flows it's very flowy um so even though it's just a single hero op photo i made the most of it same with uh you know i try to do that with all of these um always utilizing that background or those booty shots whatever you can do right <laughs> Uh, I mean, if this is something that interests you guys, like there's uh, there's actually some directional compositions. Like if you look at her sword, it angles to the top left corner of the screen. Her feet angle to the bottom left corner. So when you look at the photo, all, all the directional forces drive your eyes to the center of the screen. And same with the way his chains come down and bring you to this the focal point, which is the middle. Um, I know a lot about like directional compositions, um, where to put where to put your focal points. And if that's something you guys interested in, like you want to know how to do better photography uh, at least photography in video games how to take better screenshots that is something I could do a separate video on if people if enough people leave a comment about that uh, I'll definitely do that like different things on like how to leave certain space between the bottom and the top and how that angles in you got the ridge of the um the awning back there flowing into his knees and his knees flow in a direction to the center and his head is placed on one third of the screen if you divided the screen into thirds here his head would be kind of on this on the one third line and that's kind of the focal point but it uh you know she's kind of looking towards him so there's all these like little composition things that i do that i know tricks on from going to college um I love this photo. This is like another one of those crazy mishmashes. Um, the, the, we have them all themed in red. Uh, Spider-Man's flipping there, and uh, there's it's it's just they're all wedged in there in such a cool way. And that's what I love about this mode is taking the different poses and seeing how you can combine them in interesting ways. Um, it's really neat. But yeah, if you guys want to know more about taking good screenshots, leave a comment down below. If you'd like to see that, I'll make a separate video and obviously subscribe so that you can find that video nico cool little lightning i love the lighting on this one everything's kind of very um cool we got a cool theme there uh sparky sparky picture uh <laughs> another crazy one there's a lot going on here the girls in the back spidey in the front an unlikely bunch um just a hero op i thought i'd throw the the, the hook at the screen same with uh, blade there these ones are obviously less interesting because there's not much you can do with them uh we got a new hairstyle on the hunter rocking the curls i love that yeah it's a it's a good photo good composition of the three of them again with the crazy angles they're all interwoven love it try to get her captured between the two swords here it's a cool shot <laughs> you gotta get you gotta get a little crazy with some of these they're all kind of just sitting there <laughs> You gotta get a little crazy, have a little bit of fun. Uh, first time uh, Sabretooth was introduced to the game and Wolverine as well. You don't actually get Wolverine here. It's like you get to test him, you get to play with him. Uh, you do get to include him in on the photo, but you don't actually unlock the hero here. 
you catch him at later on in the story, which I was a little bit disappointed by because I was like, oh, we're getting Wolverine and it's going to be fun and we're going to try out new stuff. And nope, you got to wait. Um, Spider Photo, Iron Man, uh, the S Stupendous Guardians. And here we got a black theme going on here. So new outfits yet again. Booty Shot, Iron Man. Let's go. Iron Man using his freaking Jericho missiles with his air superiority. One of the most broken skills in the game as it hits every single enemy on the map. And that's just a really cool shot. The environments in this game are awesome, by the way. Look at all that stuff in the background. Every single battle you're going into, there's some kind of crazy stuff in the background. And I kind of wish I got more photos of that. Really cool angles on this one. They're going either way. She's just kind of standing there. But again, the, the directional forces, the swords, everything's kind of uh, flowing in one back and forth motion. I should have gone lines from top left to bottom right. That probably would have been better for the background. Uh, more booty shots. Avengers Tower. Damn, another really crazy environment. I was actually really blown away for a strategy game. Like, I had to took a picture of the city there, New York City. Look at this. Like, even though they're, like, low-poly buildings, they look incredible. Like, the textures are really well done. You can't... They're not just muddy boxes in the background. They look really well done. And for a strategy game, I didn't expect this level of detail. And having a battle here, we got first time introduced to Captain America. He's lobbing his shield, taking out three guys here. And you can see the shield flying back to him there. And then we, we were first time introduced. I think it's the first time you're introduced to Crossbones. Crossbones being um, Rum, Rumlin? Rumless? What's his name? Rumlin? Something like that. Uh, he's uh, Captain Marvel's Rumlo, I think. Uh, Captain Marvel's nemesis. So I thought that was pretty cool, getting a couple photos of them with the city and the Avengers Tower. This was a really fun mission, especially the fact that you're going to the Avengers Tower. Uh, so what I tried to do with the photo here is I wanted to get everyone that was involved in the mission here. Captain America charging in with his shield against Rum Rumlow. I'm just going to call him Crossbones. Iron Man kind of flanking in from the side, but Hunter being the melee character, she's taking cover behind Captain Shield, charging up her swords, running in with him, and the Avengers assault on Crossbones. Very cool. Pretty cool photo there. Blade, Spider-Man, and uh, not after you've unlocked a supervillain, they start showing up in missions. So I did a mission with Magic, and she uh, ran into crossbones here so she was the mvp of this mission she basically solo fought him got to put her up front and center against him uh it's always pretty tricky posing the super villains they're so big they're like 10 times the size of the characters so fitting them all into the comic is actually quite challenging you have to try to go from these backward angles if you want the to see the front um, it's not the easiest thing and I challenge you guys to try this out because it's a lot of fun and here we are the first time encountering this the fallen Scarlet Witch so I, I put the hunter versus the, the Scarlet Witch there again there's so many visuals happening here trying to fit them both on screen is very challenging um, but it's a fun challenge very fun uh, that's a cool photo of Ghost Rider there he's like emerging from the flames you could also uh, pan the camera down from a top-down angle which I started to do later try to change some of the perspectives um, and that <laughs> that's just depressing <laughs> Captain America um, Ghost Rider there we go we got a black and red kind of trio color palette going uh, I love this black and red theme between these these heroes here even changed the font the marvelous redeemers in black and red really cool uh and she's even got the outfit as well captain marvel that is and scarlet witch keeps showing up in my missions captain marvel dps monster dps machine taking out the scarlet witch so gotta put her up front and center there uh this is a neat training photo i love the new weapon i got it's like the you get the light and dark weapon and one's dark one's light but the the dark one actually drips so if you put the the sword up in the sky like that it has physics strip so it'll trip always vertically obviously um so having that ghost rider behind with the drippy sword up top i don't know just seemed kind of cool to me um we got a white and black and gold color theme going on here with captain front and center kicking some butt with the ladies love to see it this is a good trio they've kind of avengers team here we got the uh the two best friends spider-man and iron man and uh, the captain involved love it <laughs> he's he's hitting her with the shield i wanted it to look like she was kind of like getting yeeted you know like oof like i don't know how to explain it other than oof <laughs> but yeah uh, that's what i was trying to do there oh this is sick yeah so we we occur we ran into a fallen venom here uh, i really love the lighting and the ambience of this comic um 
they're all kind of just like chilling out but venom's kind of sneaking up on them uh hanging over them i love this one it's sick moving on up oh this is really good a lot of uh, forward moving motion, all designed off the background image. Uh, Spider-Man's like barely like sneaking over Captain Shield there. He's very, uh, what do you call it? Nimble, very agile. It's a cool picture. Uh, me just taking pictures of environments again. I was trying to get it with a train going by. The train just like goes down the tracks and it's it's just a good environment. I thought like even though it's like in like the industrious area, it's kind of like slummy and run down. That's what I like about it. They got, they got a lot of great details and I had a fight following Venom on this one. So we could put Spider-Man doing a face to face and look how big Venom is. I mean, Spider-Man's head is the size of his eyes. So it, it made for like a great composition where the weight of Venom, he's so big that you could basically put all three characters on the left side and it it's actually quite a balanced composition. I, I really like this. Supernova, we unlocked her new ability. It was really nuts. It's a giant AoE that basically nukes everything. So pretty cool. Um, love it. And with that, we unlocked her new outfit. So she's getting mad at the computer there. Uh, again, a really cool environment when you have to fight Venom in the bell tower. So you bring bring the bells. And um, yeah, this is a cool church. Like I really like this environment. You can knock a lot of guys down the center too. So Gotta squeeze them both in there. This is fantastic. The way Spider-Man is perfectly wrapping over him doing a backflip is just phenomenal. And I like the way I, I wrap the Spider-Man font um, in the curvature of Spider-Man's kind of pose there. Pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, this, I unlocked a new outfit. It's like Knights of the Realms or some thing like i don't know i think it's like a a light side outfit or something so i was like okay we got a new outfit we got to take a picture of that um we start going with this like white and gold theme for our characters pretty cool and then right after unlocking a new outfit i unlocked another new outfit <laughs> the symbiote outfit which pretty badass pretty badass i like this so we got to get some uh booty shots of that one <laughs> yeah and then we go into uh what's the tower called jeez I don't remember. Doctor Strange's tower. Um, it's going to drive me nuts now. Anyways, you got to fight um, Lilith. This is kind of when you start introducing new enemy types. And so we had five heroes you got to bring out on this mission, which is crazy. Some of these missions in the campaign, you get to bring five heroes. So the hunter will fight with a pair of two. And then she'll fight with the other pair of two. So yeah, the hunter gets to take turns with... Uh, combos of two different characters and we got to fight the Lilin so there's a lot going on we got Lilith in the background all the different heroes uh, it was pretty hard squeezing them all in here magic there got to Marvel oh this is a fantastic photo what I really love here is the color you know like we have that blue sky on the bottom left orange sky both complementary colors blue text in the orange and orange text in the blue and it gives it a very yin and yang complementary but because they're also the same color value in terms of grayscale. If you turn this gray, the orange and blues would be equal in value. So it just gives it like a very beautiful uh, color tone to it throughout the whole thing. Um, yeah, it's, it's great. And they're flying through the sky. The hunter and the pet, Charlie. It's cool. Both of them in their symbiote outfits. I like that. Uh, another great environment. I mean, you get to go to a carnival. There's like a roller coaster in the background. A lot of the content that I normally cover on my channel is from Planet Coaster. We do coaster spotlights. We go to theme parks. And I mean, I got it to take a photo of this. Somebody make this theme park, please, so I can check it out. <laughs> um, but yeah, we had Wolverine. This is actually when you finally get Wolverine. And you go up against Fallen Sabretooth. And now he's officially part of the team there. Uh, he's got a lot of great expressions and uh absolutely love his his uh poses like that <laughs> so i took wolverine out with uh, iron man because when you first get a character they kind of suck uh they don't have any cards they don't have any upgrades they don't have anything so obviously my, my iron man's like literally the best character in the game he's kind of broken so you got to bring uh bring out the training wheels right Iron Man taking out Wolverine to show him the ropes. So Wolverine has an opportunity to unlock some cards and get stronger. So that's what we're doing there. Iron Man. He is Iron Man. Got the blue uh, Patriot armor there. Love it. Training with Wolverine. Trying to get him up to speed here. And then taking him out on missions. I really love this. I, um made my character look like wolverine she got like the little wolverine mask but i put like a yellow bandana like on top of it or behind it i guess so that it matches like the yellow kind of on on wolverine but then i put black paint 
on the side under the mask. So it looks like it stretches down her face like his mask does. And I actually replicated his mask almost perfectly with the tools available. So yeah, if you want to make a Wolverine outfit so you can match with him, that is definitely possible. So love that. Um, this is pretty cool. It's like dark, gritty. It's like they got the black and gold. It's just something really nice about this one. Uh, I unlocked a new outfit. So took a picture of that. You're going to see it pop up in some of these uh, future photos. Um, the new outfit is a black and gold theme. So unfortunately, my uh, captain outfit has white on it. Didn't have a, a black and gold outfit for him just yet but we're trying to make it work with what we have captain captain booty flying towards the sun again she's all out of bubble gum you know what that means wolverine just a badass dr strange <laughs> that's a much better photo of the shield use he's <laughs> yeet <laughs> Oh, that's great. Yeah, throwing the shield right into our back. Uh, Lords of the Blood. I like this one because with my new outfit, it was kind of like a knight theme. Uh, like a yeah, Knights of the Realm theme. So there is an outfit for Iron Man and Captain that are also kind of medieval themed. So it's Lords of the Blood, the medieval warriors. Freaking love it. Um, Spider-Man all on his own. There's like this weird thing you can add to the background, a transparent ghost of venom so i don't know I, I thought i'd do something with that oh this is beautiful magic in her new outfit it's holy it's white it's shiny it's beautiful we have the matching white characters in the background it's all centered and divided right down the middle between all of it it's just great magic's such a badass what a good character and then we could get a, another look at that same outfit here with a little duel uh <laughs> This is the, uh, the, I don't know, it's like, almost got like a Grease theme. I, I feel like I'm looking at like a Grease 80s movie, the way they're kind of like, they're, it looks like they're singing like a duet. Um, and they got like their matching outfits. And then like, you got the, uh, crossbones in the background. Like, what the hell are these idiots doing? It's funny. Uh, great, great, great stuff. Okay, moving on up. We got a new color palette for, uh, Captain Marvel there. I, I kept on running with this white theme. I thought it was so good. I had to use it again, but I love like the, the subtle light purple background here. It's like the soft pastels with the soft white just and the gold accented. I put some gold makeup on the hunter there. <laughs> um, we got the Scarlet Witch versus Blade. He was the MVP here, so I thought I'd give him a face to face. They got good. They got good angry faces. He kills more than vampires. He kills witches. He's now the witch hunter. Uh, first shot, first time fighting a brood maiden. Had to get a picture of that. Look at the size of her head. Holy crap. Um, there's the team photo for it. We're going black and gold again. Yep. Oh, this is beautiful. Again, you saw this earlier on using the staff of one, but we have the Nova from Captain Marvel behind and she's like punching through it and you could just see the shadow of her fist inside the staff of one and then Doctor Strange adding an incantation to it and it's like they're supercharging some crazy like crazy spell it's freaking awesome um yeah <laughs> Ghost Rider and Hunter it's nice they're all like bursting out <laughs> I thought I <laughs> it looks like there's an explosion going off and they're all like getting flown back I thought that was pretty cool so here we have a new hunter outfit. Absolutely amazing. It's got like the demon theme. So I had to get a couple pictures of that. We got the demon versus the knight captain. Pretty cool. Nico, she, I gave her a new outfit. I was like, if I got the demon, I gotta have a witch. And then we got Doctor Strange and his weird outfit at two. And the voodoo that she do. Defending the three. The defending three. Uh, all going red and kind of, I guess, red and gold if I could. Just a reddish theme. Captain. Oh, this is amazing again perspective so we got we got the, the the arid cliffs in the background the desert and ghost riders technically way back in the background but nico's up close in the camera he's far back it's a perspective thing and it looks like she's kind of presenting a tiny ghost rider <laughs> here comes the spirit of vengeance he's just a little one again if you play around with the perspective you get super creative i didn't really use the fonts a lot uh, but I put the arg in here because she's literally stabbing a sword through her stomach. And I think this is when we defeated the Scarlet Witch. Um, so yeah, new outfit again, or new look. I'd say that 
yeah, ex existing outfit, but new look. So we got like the golden eyes. We got gold through the eyes there. Uh, we got a crown. What I didn't know until now, and just like an FYI, this hair looked ridiculous in the character creator screen. I was like, why would I ever use that? It's ridiculous. The hair interacts with helmets and masks differently. Like they'll actually change how the hair works, modify the hair for each of the different helmets. And the way the, the hair is modified on this helmet or this mask thing is fantastic. Um, even like the little horns that poke through the hair, they've divided the hair and parted the hair so it doesn't just clip through. It actually parts its way through. <laughs> this is a great photo too. They're just chilling out in the front. The two ladies just enjoying the sun and Sabertooth's like, time to pounce. And Iron Man's like, ah, I'll save you. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Like I said, guys, I had, as you can see, uh, I mean, it's obvious and looking at the length of this recording, this is going on. Uh, the, the length of this photo mode uh, gallery viewer video is, at this point, twice as long as my review on the actual game. But this is kind of like a overview of my time with the entire game. The lightning strike Spider-Man rip. Yeah, I mean, but it is, it's a look, I mean, I put 150 hours to the game. There's a reason it extended so long because sometimes getting the right photo could take five, 10 minutes uh, like to get these cool photos, but they're my memories now and I get to share them with you guys and they're in my game. Like I get, this is awesome. <laughs> they're having a little battle battle on the palm of her hands. <laughs> It's freaking awesome. And, um, you know, I had a lot of fun making these and you only get to do it once. So I'm like, if I'm going to play through this game and I'm enjoying this game, I'm going to make the most of it and build these memories. Uh, this is Ghost Rider hooking her. Like the thing's going right through her stomach and he's yanking her. And then you got uh, the, the staff of, what was it? The Axe of Agamotto. And Doctor Strange just like trying to cut the chain in half. Penance for the guilty. But yeah, I really enjoyed my time with this game. And it goes to show that, you know, taking your time with the photo mode editor um, creating oh this is just amazing look at this she's trapped inside the staff of one and then I don't know what I do with these hands I thought like it would add like a little bit of darkness to it like these hands are coming from I don't know just like it's just dark they looked really neat the hands wrapping around it it, 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 it puts some light on it and it kind of adds these lines up the side of the screen it just came together as like a really neat composition. So yeah, another thing I started to learn is if you put other characters off to the side, like Iron Man, like I did there, oh, she's got them in their bubbles, in her bubbles. It's pretty cool. Um, using characters off to the side that have lights, such as Captain Marvel, Iron Man, and, and stuff like that, um, you can use them off screen to add light to the comic or add special effects to the comic. So you could do some pretty interesting stuff there. It's a really nice midnight sun kind of photo. Really cool stuff. But yeah, it's like you only get to do this once, right? You play through the game and they give you these kind of standard comics that are actually pretty lame and because you just grab it and go you're gonna never look through your photo mode collection book they have this collection book here for you to look at and if you're just taking the default photos which is generally just the all of them just standing there with their arms crossed it's kind of lame um, you're never gonna go through them all and go like oh look at all these cool comics I collected because they're literally all the exact same right and um, it's just not very fun so with me taking my time and really enjoying the process of the game and there that's like the last big one right there is the entire Midnight Suns and Avengers team combined. It's pretty cool. This is the standard photo. They give you this one. It's like the only one that they tried hard on. And I was like, oh, I don't really want to change anything here. And if I tried to, I'd probably just mess it up at this point because they're, it's actually really nice. So I just took that photo. And that's the crazy one we made at the beginning. So we're done. We're back there. We're back to the Hunter Rises. So yeah, the Hunter Rises. When I took this very, very first photo, little did I know all of this was about to happen. <laughs> and uh, I created some good memories with my time, with my characters, their outfits, their co co uh, their color palettes, their trios. Yeah, it's just like a lot of really cool stuff. The comic books in particular, I feel like I made a lot of really good ones. The screenshots in terms of like battling in the uh, arena or whatever. A lot of those are just kind of whatever. Um, the single photo comics that you get for Hero Ops are also kind of whatever. I think maybe if I just deleted everything, but the or I guess, I wonder if, can you just view by comics? 
Uh, no, these are technically postcards too. But yeah, if I if I just looked through all my handmade comics and got rid of everything else, I think I made a pretty damn awesome comic book collection. They should have just the end of mission comics as a filter here. But boom, there it is, guys. Like, wow, that is a long ass video for, you know, um, looking at all my custom designs. So I just I really love that aspect of the game. If you if you take your if you take your time with each of the photos, it can really extend the the, the game. But for me, it was something creative to do, um, something fun something that broke up the non-stop missions and um now that i've got my kind of photos out i don't know how many more of them i really need to take it's time for me to just grind the end game and start honing my abilities and uh and just blasting through it so hopefully you guys enjoyed that hopefully you learned something hopefully it inspired you hopefully you thought of uh, ways to create your own comic books and i hope people are actually uh utilizing that aspect of the game because as you can see i think it's pretty cool anyways i'm gonna end up the video there it's a very long video thank you guys for watching if you want to see some more awesome midnight suns videos hit that subscribe button and check back in and i hope you all have a happy holidays bye now